Hi everyone, Josh here and I'm at the Westin Bonner Hotel downtown Los Angeles. This is one of the top 10 most photographed buildings in the world from what I've been reading. I'm really excited to check it out. Now the inside does look pretty dated, but the building itself is cool. This is my 119th Marriott property worldwide. I can't wait to show it to you. Please subscribe so you don't miss my next review as it could be a perfect score and you won't want to miss it. We're here at the Westin Bonaventure Hotel in downtown LA. It's one of the coolest buildings, but this hallway is really weird because it's like big round buildings. So our, our room is kind of in this circle area, but we're on the 23rd floor. It is a 32-ish story building, but they have over 1300 rooms. So the rooms are very unique because in the front, they're kind of small and then they get big as you go back as the rounded building. So come on in. I want to show you the bathroom here first. Um, when you first walk in, there's a little closet over there and then over here is the bathroom. Okay, so here's the bathroom. It's like its own little space. It does seem a little uh, dated. The it does kind of have a rainfall shower, um, but it looks a little old, but it's a, it's a standard bathroom. We do have the pump soaps. Um, it's just kind of darker tones. It definitely hasn't been renovated in a long time, but you do have kind of wraparound mirrors here. So, so it's, it's interesting bathroom, it's okay. So it goes kind of narrow to wide coming in the room here. This is part of one of the circle buildings. The cool thing about this hotel, even though it was built many, many years ago, like around the 1970s, it still has floor to ceiling windows. Um, so mostly only the newer hotels have that, the older ones don't, but this is an older one that actually has it, so it's a good touch. Now the rooms, I will be honest, it is a very nice hotel in LA, but it is getting dated. Um, it's not luxurious, nothing special, but it still is premium. And it's still a place that I chose to stay during my trip here. But this is the room with the two queen beds. It is called like a larger room they gave us. So I think that the other rooms might be just a tiny bit smaller, but it has the heavenly beds, which Western are known for. Um, just some really basic pictures on the wall. And then we do have just a big work desk over here with a good view. Um, so if you're getting like business done, you have a place to work and then the TV. And then the rooms also have a fridge down below already in the room. Um, so that's a good point. Over here we have that TV. And then this is the coffee maker. It looks like there's these Starbucks pods. This is like kind of unbranded. I don't really see, maybe CV1 but it's just kind of a very generic coffee maker, nothing special. But then down below here, we do have that fridge that I mentioned. Now over here by the bed, we do have the safe down below. And then up here, we have this interesting looking alarm clock and then just some very basic lights, nothing special. But overall, um, it's okay, nothing special, but um, we are in LA. So um, I've been to the JW Marriott before, so I just wanted to check out the Westin. The coolest part about this is definitely the building. The insides are just kind of okay, but it still um, at least seems clean and I'm excited to review the rest of the hotel. The Westin Bonaventure Hotel is compromised of beautiful, sleek glass towers. It is an international symbol of LA and an architectural landmark. It's one of the most photographed buildings in the world, and it's widely recognized as a masterpiece in contemporary hotel design. It has been featured in many movies and TV series and 15 featured films. The lobby area is super spacious with water features and plenty of seating areas for all the guests, as it does have 1,358 guest rooms. Now the atrium is six stories high and it is massive, but it is really cool. They have a lot of different elevator shafts. So you do have to make sure you're getting the right elevator to room. Ours was the green tower, so we did have to head up to that elevator. Now the interior of the elevators are a little bit dated, but the views going up the elevator to your room are fantastic uh, with floor to ceiling windows. Now the rooms were nothing luxury, I will be honest. They were very basic, but they did have really good views for a downtown LA hotel. Now the property does also have a fitness center located kind of in the atrium area. Now the fitness center is nothing special. It did not inspire me. The colors were just very neutral. It was kind of sad, but they did have plenty of equipment and it was spacious to accommodate all those guest rooms as well as free weights 
and uh, aerobic exercise equipment. Now the pool is also located just outside the hotel, kind of next to it. It's kind of like a rooftop pool, but I will be honest, it did look very small for the size of the hotel, especially with all the guest rooms. I feel like it could get full pretty quick. Now this is the Lakeview Bistro restaurant. They serve breakfast and lunch. Breakfast is included for Platinum Elite members and higher. You get two complimentary breakfasts with that, and it was decent. It wasn't over the top, but I enjoyed it. There was a lot of options that I could eat, and I liked that. Now the property also does have a lobby restaurant. It is called the Lobby Court. They feature some cocktails. The property also has the Buena Vista Lounge, which has classic cocktails and small plates, as well as an LA Prime Steakhouse and fresh seafood. They also have wines there. The property only offers valet parking and it is a little bit pricey at $54 per night. We did have to valet park. It was pretty efficient when we first pulled in. We got our belongings, they parked our car, and then we were able to get uh, right up to uh, the room through inside. Now, whenever you wanna pick up your car, you do have to bring them the ticket. And then when they get the ticket, they uh, go ahead and put your name on a list and get the car. It does sometimes take a while, up to 10, 15 minutes when it's crowded. So just keep that in mind, give yourself plenty of time if you are picking up your vehicle. All right, now for the review. So starting off with room, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. It is a little bit lower score. Did I feel comfortable and feel like I could touch everything? Mm -hmm. Not as much. Um, the furniture is a little bit dated. The windows are a little dirty. The carpeting looks really old. The bathroom is definitely really dated. It was definitely a hotel I chose to stay at. It's nice. Um, but the room needs some improvement, it definitely needs a remodel. Next up is gonna be inspiration. How inspired was I by this hotel? That's gonna get a 3.5, mainly because of the building itself, how cool it looks. They also need to give us a view of the Hollywood sign. So that is a nice touch. The other cool thing about the hotel that was cool and inspiration was the elevators kind of going up in those. It's so cool how you go from the lobby to looking out over like the whole city. Absolutely, that was amazing. Uh, next up is gonna be service. Service is gonna get a four out of five. Service um, pulling in with the valet, just can get really like busy and crowded. Sometimes you have to wait for them to even help you with your car. It's valet only $49 a night, so it can be expensive. And then both times picking up my car, it took at least 10 minutes for them to go get it. Um, it could be even longer just because this hotel is over a thousand rooms. Breakfast though with Jose was great. Amazing server, we loved it, as well as check-in and the lady last night at reception was also really nice. So those are the positives, but not a lot of personalized service here it's mostly just when you check in or you have breakfast or when you see the valet and then finally value would I come back I'm gonna give that a three out of five I will not come back unless the hotel is renovated it is a nice hotel but it just doesn't do it for me um, but overall it's a it's a it's a good score not great um, but once they do renovate this property hopefully they will um, in the future I will definitely be back and it will then be probably one of the best hotels in downtown Los Angeles and then for the pricing the hotel is around $250 per night sometimes 300 rarely 350 um, which is a little expensive for LA. And then uh, the points redemption is gonna be between, I'm looking like 30,000 to about 45,000 points per night. So it actually is a good points redemption value as you are getting close to a penny of a point. That wraps up my review. If you liked it, please hit the like button below. Please subscribe if you wanna see my next review. And I can't wait to see you at the next hotel. It could be a perfect score.